just put water in with my pearled couscous so that's going to rehydrate over the day and uh, I'll have that for lunch Good morning, Mr. Snooze. Holy shit. You've got a billion Dude. mosquitoes around you. It's bad. Let's go. Let's yeah, go. We, Let's we get out get of here. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Look at all these mosquitoes ready to bite my back. This is crazy. G'day, all you wonderful people. Welcome to Adventure Together. My name's uh, Charlene Lookout. And today, Snooze and I are going to try and make 30 miles. We're not going to try. We're definitely going to do it. We're determined men we're going to do it 30 miles we've got 62 miles until a pass and that pass is what we want to go up and over and into encampment and riverside i think it's riverside and go and get food and then we're going to hero it we're going to go early in the morning grab our food and get out of there and on our way to rollins which is the next stop after encampment and We've got about 20 miles until we hit the Wyoming border and uh, next state commence the periodical changeover of far out maps as somebody put it. So today we're walking up and over mountains and hills and rivers and streams and snow. A lot of snow. It's the most snow I've seen in a while. And uh, trying to get as far as we can we had a beautiful campfire last night and went to bed very late. Don't worry, we were campfire uh, responsible. We made sure it was out, we dug it over, we poured a lot of water onto it. And uh, this morning we got up and double and triple checked. We both checked and the fire was out. So there will not be a fire that we are responsible for in this area. We were very very responsible people it is a very warm morning but we are being terrorized by mosquitoes you can't even stand still long enough to take a picture of some flowers I had the same thing yesterday I took footage lots of b-roll of all the different flowers and I ended up savaged ravaged bitten attacked mauled and set upon by hundreds of mosquitoes. So nothing has changed. It is still Mosquito City. Alright, well, we just went over Lost Ranger Peak, and I'm pretty sure that's our last summit big mountain climb in Colorado. Still some big mountains, but I'm pretty sure the CDT kind of goes around them. We're shooting for the flatland now, headed to the basin. To the plains of Wyoming. That's right. Let's go get fried. <laughs> Blue sky being consumed by these black thunder clouds. Yeah, let's get wet. Woo! The hail started, so rain gear on, or at least rain jacket anyway, and uh, yeah, just carry on walking. It's, uh, it seems like the lightning and the thunder are much further apart in time than they were yesterday when they seemed to be right above our heads and we took shelter in the privy. But uh, there seems to be about four or five seconds between 
lightning and then the thunderclap so I'm uh, confident I'll just be okay just a little bit wet but uh, you know I'll dry out eventually So, the uh, thunder and lightning has passed. It's still a little bit windy, but no more hail and rain. The problem is, the hail stops and the mosquitoes re-emerge to terrorize my skin. There's a little hole here in the tree and the bird inside is going crazy, so I better go away because I'm stressing them out. What are you doing in the river, little guy? This is a state of mozzie hell. This is why you don't come through hiking. Don't do this. <laughs> so we are doing the, uh, so, ah, they keep landing on my hand. So we are doing the full rain gear thing just to get rid of them. Yo, we gotta move. Oh my God. Wow, got to camp 31, 32 miles. I don't know how far, but we were chased and swarmed and attacked by mosquitoes the whole way. Full rain gear, face, head, net, and, uh, yeah, I looked like a beekeeper. I was completely covered. And uh, just catching mosquitoes in here. But look at this. All of this mosquitoes on the outside of my tent trying to get in through the cover. It's crazy. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are in tent, dinner consumed, ready to go to bed. So uh, tomorrow, we are about 10 miles before we hit the Wyoming border. And how exciting is that? The last night in Colorado and uh, going to hit Wyoming state number three early tomorrow. That's just a, a weird feeling like the whole trail is progressing. But in my mind, I've still only just started. I'm still waiting for the... It's sort of to kick in in a way. And it's like state number three is here already. Um, I'll talk about that, I think, in more detail over the next couple of days. And uh, after that, we're going to hike another 20 something miles to a pass. And we're going to camp just before the pass. So, and then the day after that, I'll be in encampment. So, please, please. Dig deep. I'm asking you to try and help us raise our target money for the fundraiser for the Wilderness Foundation UK and share it once you have donated so that other people in your network can also help out. But for today, that's all I've got for you. So thank you for joining myself and Snooze and our... Uh, a swarm of mosquitoes <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one.